another day, another trip, another adventure. 20th of May. Everything is prepared. Luggage is set. 15 kilograms. I have the tents, I have everything I need. And I am on my way to Portugal. Hold on a second. Trip around Europe sounds boring, right? Yes, you might be correct, but as usual, I will try to convince you that on the long trips, you never know what will happen. You don't need to look for adventure, because it will find you one way or another. And also, this was my way to test my new motorcycle in any kind of riding conditions and prove that it's capable to work on my future trips. So let me try to show you what exactly I have experienced on this so-called boring journey. How long? Hard to say. Whatever it takes. Good morning. This is the guest house that I slept. And it's around 7.30. I slept a little bit longer. I have no idea why. Ah man, this is nice. Oh, there is Dospat. This was one of the most unusual experiences that I have in my entire life. Tada pomagam yes. Telefon. Tukada da digam. Kedi? Ne ne, kas boyo. Ajde. Ajde tuk. Ah. At least you have the view and the silence. This is what it means to have Skopje in my knees. This is the top of the viaduct and the water was going down in its natural way. Well, well, well. I'm really impressed from the square. A lot of colors, beautiful buildings. Wonderful. That was a good building. Uh, Good morning. This was one of the most bizarre experiences that I've got in the last few years. Sleeping in this very expensive luxury hotel. This is the place that I was looking for. Fantastic. To go on a road like this, with ABS on, it is <laughs> an adventure because you cannot uh, lock the rear and it goes very fast. Finally came to the border. I'm greeted from Kaos. Beautiful, beautiful. This is Cooks. I finally came on the top and now I'm going down. I have made an excellent choice without even know it. Yeah, perfect spot to relax, have my breakfast. The road became really narrow. I can see that it's not used much. I hope it will lead me where I need to go, otherwise I have to go back.
Good morning. After I spent almost, let's say, almost like 20 hours waiting for the ferry, boarding on the ferry, ferry itself, I'm still in the ferry, and this is what time it is. 7.30 in the morning. Now officially, welcome to Italy. Fantastic. I told you that on this heat, I'm not going to walk, but actually I will. Yeah, on this point, what you can do is at least to give it a like because I drop a lot of water to walk around. This is Tolbe. I really like this small Italian town, villages. Absolutely fantastic atmosphere. I think that I'll give up the idea here. This was the right moment to say no and continue on my journey because here will be very easy to, to break something and very difficult to receive help if you understand what I mean. Very, very interesting road. I can see through the condition that it's not very used. It's very high. I'm gonna check what is the elevation. Hmm. And the views are fantastic. Concrete, there's support everywhere. And finally the road is abandoned. Hmm. I have to ask, ask the locals what is the story here. I was down there on the coast and this strange road through the neighborhoods and all of this left and right brought me here on the top. What I found interesting is that not many people in Italy actually speak English. I guess you're wondering what is this? This is me. I am the chef of my own meal. Calogero told me that this road was abandoned a few years ago and I have seen a lot of signs, no entry, no entry, but it is still open it. Every time when I visit places like, like this, I feel so sad to see age 28, age 28, age 29, 24, 21, this is Canadian War Cemetery, right in the middle of Sicily. And this is the view from the top of Spellinga Castle. Fantastic! The views are so beautiful, the colors are nice and the smell is such a beautiful smell on some kind of herbs, I cannot even tell you on what but it is just fantastic moment. This was really interesting to see. The whole day was such a completed day. I think that I'm ready to finish it. Arancino, Arancino, which is the most normal breakfast that you can get in orange juice. And my friend, so this was what? This was what? Brioche con tupo. Granita di pistacchi. Granita di pistacchi. So this is basically ice cream with bread and this is something like frappe. Uh, okay. Italy is great. Are you? With two arancino because this is for lunch. Ah, okay. But I'm coming from Bulgaria. I need more. Okay. This is another one abandoned places. Calogero just explained me the history. The name is Kunziria. 
because it became like a, the trip of abandoned buildings. <laughs> I'm gonna film this small boat as well. This is definitely the most southern port of, of Italy. Nice. This is the famous Corleone. Everybody knows it's because of Godfather and Don Corleone. morning from Sardinia they said that one of the blue zones you know blue zones where people live much longer than the rest of the world they said that one of the blue zones is located in Sardinia this is the beach that I saw yesterday There is a big difference between the east and the west coast of uh, Sardinia. Ah, okay. The east coast is uh, more touristically orientated. The west is more wild, as you can see. tell you how good it is man this was one of the most refreshing experiences that I've got in the last two weeks 39 for just five minutes this was the first possible road that I got out of the asphalt that was possible to climb without any warning signs that is forbidden that is private road or at least I haven't seen any It is nice to feel the freedom at least for a while. Let's see where this road will lead me. I think it will be on the top of this beautiful mountain. I'm gonna have even more spectacular views from what I have now. But let me check. This is a nice moment, isn't it? Can you see the eagle or hawk? I don't know. It should be like a north east part of Corsica. I've got the castle on the top. Whole town. This is the bridge that I took the first picture. And over there is the campground that motorcycle is. Let's board, I hope, the last ferry for this trip. It is the, if I'm not mistaken, sixth ferry. And I hope no more ferries. I've got even some sun. Maybe it will rain there, but maybe not. Maybe I'll be lucky. Uh, this is a great picture. 
Yeah, I finally made it. Came to Andorra. This is the famous Ruta de la Contrabandista. Connection between Andorra and Spain. Canyon Anisclo. What a place. This is Pan Plona. And this is me sitting on the top of this interesting place. North coast of Spain, maybe 30 kilometers west from Bilbao. What a beach line, huh? Ah, man, this is wonderful. I like to be on the place of these guys down there. It became 21 degrees, no traffic, perfect visibility, just great. All of these small coast towns are extremely beautiful. Especially this one here is just spectacular. Finally, I'm in Portugal. Entered an hour ago and since then I'm riding on this type of road. It took me more than a month to come here, even though the plan, the original plan was 12 days, maybe 14 days. But uh, the places that I have seen and the people that I have met on this trip were so interesting that I couldn't make it faster. This is Porto, before sunset. The bridge is very, very nice and the view is even better. This actually is a very, very rare combination between twisty, beautiful mountain road which goes through the villages, like this one, and still got these fantastic views from the top. I don't think that I have seen this in any other place around the world. I am in AGP factory with Paolo. Paolo, hi. <laughs> Thank hi, you very hi. much, Paolo. You're welcome. We have made a wonderful tour inside, something that you cannot see every day. Yeah. It was very informational, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Bye. Bye. What a place, huh? It is 1,400 meters, and I have all of these windmills. Oh, look how close this is. These guys with the bikes got like 65 kilometers per hour. All right, I just crossed the zoo. Now I am on the way to Mangualde on road number. M16 and then we'll go to Manteigas which is very important with all of these turns and then I'll go to Torre which is the highest peak of uh, Portugal the clouds are going to the hills covering everything and here we go I believe that these are meteorological stations on the top of Portugal. A big help from these guys. Thank you very much for everything, very Robin. Kati, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, this road definitely is very interesting. Aljus Trail, right? Aljus Trail. I'm on this very interesting uh, spot, restaurant with my hosts. Paolo and Karina and we're gonna have now for start Sagres 
a local beer. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for Cheers. everything. Thank you for Welcome. everything. Welcome back to Spain. The famous Douro River. I think that I will be perfectly fine here. I don't think that anyone will come. This will be my place. Let me open the tent. I have my power bank to charge the telephone and the GPS. Good morning. Quarter past six. There is only one problem with this wild camping that you have to wake up very early and leave before people start moving around. This is San Leonardo. Beautiful old town. Today I have this very very difficult ride of 113 kilometers this way. It is what it is. I'm gonna stay with friends in Pamplona, I stayed with friends here, so this will be the most easy day since the beginning of my trip, but from tomorrow I'll be very very strict and I have to ride at least 500 kilometers a day. Buenos dias, numero 7. Con tarjeta. Ok, no tienes, no tienes. Gracias. I don't know, did I told you, but in Spain they've got the, the most cheap petrol at the moment because government made this 20% discount for every liter, as you can see, or maybe you cannot, but visibility is uh, compromised. So, safety first, slow down. Honestly, it was fantastic right over this mountain. Fantastic, I enjoyed so much. Uh, this is one of those roads or things that no one even mentioned. Bonjour, café? Oui, merci. Bonjour, ça va? Je m'appelle Pavlin, je suis bulgar. Qu'est-ce qui c'est? And with this, my French is over. Two o'clock in the afternoon, temperature dropped to 23 degrees. The pass is open. I hope it is not going to rain. Well, in the last hour and so, just when I was going through the passes, it was raining. But it is what it is, I cannot complain. The altitude here is 1000 meters. and waited and waited this shiny peak to come but it looks like it's not going to happen so I already spent more than an hour here and as I can see now the fog slowly coming down which is mean that it might start to rain after a while and because I don't have much time to waste I have to go What a mystical place, huh? 
have a look at the surroundings. If I have to compare this road with the highway on the top, the difference is huge. On this road, I can still have some speed, like 80-90 km per hour, even more. But at least I will have these beautiful views around Slovenia. Now, in Europe, we don't have borders. But when you cannot read even the names of the villages, like this, Xorkuyenfold Vorschok, or Vorschok, or Shornyenfold Vorschok, whatever it is, and when you cannot understand even a simple word from everything that they telling you you have to be sure 100 percent that you entered hungary okay this was the place oh mission completed minute here or there or two or five won't change anything so it's not really worth risking on the places like this because the consequences might be unreversible or fatal especially on these unpredictable roads they are very bumpy asphalt got different denivellations and the traffic is unpredictable you can have sand or oil somewhere so really not worth to do all of this just because of the, the idea to overtake it now. One minute, they just look on my documents and said, go. So it is all right. People don't really mind to go in front. They know that with the motorcycles, it's a, a bit different. You don't need to wait for everyone it's not that i am arrogant no it is the way it is people understand and they never make problems for motorcyclists after a little bit more than a month i'm back in my hometown varna bulgaria the trip was around 15,000 kilometers i visited 13 different countries i've got six ferries everything that i wanted to see and places that i wanted to visit i have done i have exactly zero problems with the bike and with myself so from now i can consider the mission officially completed <laughs>